Dear students of 6th semester civil engineering, we are starting the electric paper ground improvement techniques. I am Riana MS, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Sri Narayana Institute of Technology. We are studying the 5th module of ground improvement techniques, compaction. In the last session, you have studied about the first portion. Uh, regarding compaction, the definition for compaction and moisture density relationship, etc., you have studied. Hoping that you have understood the portion. Now, we are studying about the different types of compaction. There are generally two types of compactions shallow compaction and deep compaction. Shallow compaction is simply uh, the field compaction or surface compaction, and deep compaction is the compaction in which the soil is compacted to a particular depth. Shallow compaction is one of the earliest and cheapest and commonly used technique which is used to improve the physical and mechanical properties of loose soil. It is simply rearranging of soil particles to reduce air ratios using surface static or vibratic mechanical effort. That is simply it is a field compaction or surface compaction. It is a mechanical modification given to the soil to packing the soil particles closely or densifying the soil. Next is the factors affecting the field compaction. First one is the thickness of lift. Second one is the area over which the pressure is applied. Third one intensity of pressure applied to the soil. Fourth one type of roller. Fifth one, number of roller passes. And the factors affecting the shallow or field compaction includes thickness of lift, area over which the pressure is applied, intensity of pressure applied to the soil, type of roller, number of roller passes. Now, the shallow surface compaction. Two types of rollers are employed in shallow surface compaction or field compaction. They are static rollers and impact of vibratory equipment. The different types of static rollers employed for the shallow surface compaction are smooth steel rollers and pneumatic rollers, sheep foot rollers, grid rollers. And the second one, impact and vibratory equipment includes the dampers, rammers and plate compactors vibrating rollers and impact rollers so that there are mainly two types of rollers are employing in shallow surface compaction the first one is static rollers and second one is impact and vibratory rollers the static rollers includes the smooth steel rollers and pneumatic rollers sheep foot rollers grid rollers the second one includes that is the impact and vibe equipment includes dampers rammers and plate compactors vibrating rollers and impact rollers the first one smooth steel rollers and pneumatic rollers it is a type of static roller it provide a smooth finished gate it is usually used for perving and it can be effective only up to 20 to 30 centimeter compaction only it's a type of uh, shallow compaction equipment the pneumatic tire roller is a self-propelled compaction device that uses pneumatic tires to compact the underlying soil. Here is the uh, picture showing the pneumatic tire roller. Uh, we can see that it is smooth uh, pneumatic tires which are used to compact the underlying soil here. And this is the picture showing the This is the picture showing the smooth wheeled rollers. The wheel of these rollers are smooth. Next, the second among the static rollers is the sheep foot rollers. The name itself says that uh, the roller tire resembles the foot of a sheep. Here the compaction pressure is greater. It provides a kneading action that is work out after the compaction. It is effective for compacting fine grained soils or clays. The sheep foot rollers are used for compacting the fine grained soils such as heavy clays and silty clays. The sheep foot rollers are of static or vibratory types. There are mainly 
two types of sheep foot rollers either static sheep foot rollers or vibratory sheep foot rollers uh, the the roller resembles like that of the foot of a sheep so the name sheep foot roller this you are the picture showing the sheep foot rollers here we can see using a sheep foot roller um, the soil is compacting that is the field compaction is done by either using static sheep foot rollers or vibratory sheep foot rollers it is one among the important type of static rollers next is grid rollers grid rollers means the grid like rolling surface is for the rollers grid rollers have a cylindrical heavy steel surface comprising a network of steel bars which form a grid with square shaped holes it is common for the roller to be blasted with concrete blocks this type of roller is generally a towed unit and provides high contact pressure but minimal kneading action here we can see the picture of grid rollers these are the steel grids and this is also another picture of the grid roller using it for the field compaction purpose uh, we can see the square grids here it is commonly used for uh, field compaction the shallow compaction purpose it is common for the roller to be blasted with the concrete blocks Next is tambas, ramas and plate compactors. What is a tambar? The purpose of a tambar is to pack the ground evenly for a quality shot. Here we can see the tambar here. here is, it is a tambar. A ramar is a machine that compacts the ground. It is the picture for a rama which is used for shallow compaction. And the third one plate compactors. They are designed to compact loose materials such as granular soils, gravel, small aggregate and hot asphalt mixes. Here is the plate compactors. It is the picture of plate compactors. These tambas, ramas and clay compactors are used for compacting only very small areas and these are effective only in case of granular soils. Mm, this is a type of tambas, ramas and plate compactors are type of impact rollers or vibratory equipments. This is a type of vibratory equipments or impact rollers. Usually tambas are examples of impact uh, providing equipment and these ramas and uh, uh, ramas sometimes it may be impact and sometimes it is vibratory in nature. The plate compactors are usually vibratory in nature. Next is vibrating rollers. That is here the rolling is done by means of vibrating vibration the process of vibration a vibratory roller is a compactor having a drum it is used to densify the soil asphalt or other materials through the application of combined static and dynamic forces the vibratory roller uses combined action of static and dynamic forces it is used to increase the load bearing capacity of the surface here we can see a vibratory roller with the drum and here is the chin drummed vibratory roller or the used it to for the purpose of shallow compaction or field compaction vibrating roller works under the principles of vibration it uses the application of combined static and dynamic forces for increasing the load bearing capacity of the surface next is impact roller impact means sudden loads an impact roller or impact compaction roller is used to provide the compaction at a particular depth that is the depth of influence this depth of influence is directly proportional to the energy generated by the impact roller or impact compaction roller it provides compaction up to 2 to 3 meter example can be used in air fields this you are the picture showing the impact rollers it works under the principle of feedback that is a sudden load here we can see its pictures uh, the depth of it usually is employing for a depth of influence and this depth of influence is directly proportional to the energy generated by the impact roller which can be used to combat the surface up to 2 to 3 meter depth 
generally employed for air fuel combustion so hoping that you have studied uh, understood about this static combustion the various equipment employed for static combustion the different types of rollers used for static combustion which includes the grid rollers sheep boot rollers pneumatic rollers smooth wheel rollers vibratory rollers impact rollers canvas rammers plate compactors etc hoping that you have understood the portion study well study on a regular basis and try to answer this assignment question the assignment question should be written in your notebook itself and should be submitted either through the linkway software or mail me after writing this in your notebook take a picture and mail to me or attach it in it in your whatsapp group study well study in a regular basis don't be lazy the question is write a short note on features and operations of the following types of rollers with neat sketches so uh, write about pneumatic tire rollers in about 5 to 10 sentences like that sheep foot rollers grid rollers impact rollers and vibrating rollers not less than half a page that is uh, the explanation should be within uh, 5 to 10 sentences and try to sketch it also and submit it after watching this video lecture uh, write this in your notebook and submit it through linways or through mail okay thank you stay safe be health conscious okay thank you